So in this tutorial, we're going to quickly use Lightroom to show you how to add vignettes to make your images a bit more atmospheric. Let's begin. So technically there is two ways that you can add vignettes in Lightroom to a photograph. So I'll, I'll show you both really, and then it's up to yourself to decide kind of when you want to use one, when you want to use the other, um, and so on and so forth. So basically the first one is really, really simple. So once you've got your image open and it's in the develop uh, panel, we are simply going to choose the graduated filter. Now click that graduated filter. It's perfect to use with skies like this that are quite bright, quite light and quite pale. If you want to add a little bit more contrast into them, start at the top and by holding down the shift key to keep a nice straight line, we'll draw down that adjustment. Okay, at the minute, doesn't look very good, but that's where we need to go back to our uh, panel on the right hand side here and then reduce the exposure. So you can see already from there, we've created this darker element at the top. We can still adjust it just by moving the lines up and down a little bit. So it just depends as to where you want that effect to actually fall. We can make it a little bit more severe, make it a bit darker so that the sky is almost starting to uh, turn to a very, very deep blue. We can make that vignette much more quicker in terms of the transition if we wanted to as well, or just that little bit more softer and gradual. Again, it's completely up to yourself as to how you want the effect to fall, but I quite like it as it is there. Now vignettes, as you'll know, always work around all edges. So I'm going to continue doing the same, hold down shift. I'm going to draw a new one in. Okay. So this is now looking a lot darker than the other one before. It's simply because we're not using as much sky. So I'm going to push that back a little bit towards the edge. I may just drag this this top line out a little bit more. Oops, we've gone a little bit too far there. Just click back on our original adjustment. And now I'm just going to, now I'm just going to push this line back a little bit further, just so it's on the edge, but not too much. Now I basically want to repeat the exact same thing on the opposite side. So I'm going to try and just by eye see if I can judge the distance from our main point here to the edge of the image. and may push ourselves back a little bit. It may be a case of just ever so slightly adjusting the exposure as well on the side. So we're going to do one last one at the very bottom here. I'm going to kind of pull it up quite away to begin with, and then just to adjust it as I see fit based on the image. So there's no direct specifications as to say how far you have to go into an image with your vignette. What we're trying to do is mask out the edges, keep concentration into the center of the image. If you've got a distracting element at the side, this is when vignettes can be very, very useful if you can't otherwise crop around it in camera, recompose or even crop it out or edit it out in your editing software. So this is when vignettes say are very, very helpful. But basically, once you've got them all in place and you're quite happy with the effect, we can still go back to it, but you can just press done. So this is our before and after. You see where we began, which was very kind of flat. Uh, it's still nicely exposed, but it didn't really have that much punch, that much drama. Now with what we've done, we've saturated the colors a little bit more with reducing the exposure in some of those adjustment layers, added them all the way around. So it's given us a much more kind of punchy effort. So that's our first attempt at making a vignette. As I said, there was two ways of doing it in Lightroom. So what we'll do, we'll completely reset and we'll have another go. So we're back to the start with our image again. And just next to the graduated filter is the radial filter. So click that radial filter and then draw out the circle. Now we can still move it around. So don't worry if you don't get it perfectly in center the first time. But once you've drawn out the circle, then click in the center dot just to bring it right into the middle. And we can use the anchor points at the side just to move it around, just to narrow it a little bit more. So bearing in mind now, this is always going to be more circular, whereas what we were drawing in before with the vignettes was for individuals. So we could kind of customize each one a little bit. So this is more of an all round effect and a little bit more classic as well. Vignettes used to be used on the edges and the borders of images. Um, sometimes it was actually kind of part of the camera, being the fact that, that lenses couldn't necessarily render the image or, or the light right at the very edge. And you used to either get this white or this black border around the edge of a photograph. So that's kind of where vignettes come from a long, long time ago. So now that we've got our shape drawn, as we did before with our gradual filter, we're just going to reduce the exposure and you can see now how the effect comes in. 
So we don't have to start tweaking the top and the bottom specifically because they will move. If we move one, it will move the other. So this is why you need to get it in place first. So once you've got your markers where you want, reduce the exposure. So we've got all the attention in the middle and we're darkening edges a little bit further. There we go. So that's a different way of adding a vignette using the radial filter in Lightroom. I hope you've enjoyed these two little tutorials. If you have, keep looking out for iPhotography for more. Thanks for watching.